Hello fabulous PAs. In this video I will give you three ways to support the children you work with during the mayhem that is the run up to Christmas at school. And I have a very handy TA in control guide that accompanies this video so be sure to watch until the end to find out how to get it. Now December can be a very tricky time for some children in school. Changes in routines as well as the excitement of the Christmas holiday coming up all goes to create a mix of overwrought children and challenging behaviour. So in this video we will look at three things you can do to make, Christmas, to make December bearable for the children and you. But first, to help me get my videos out to as many teaching assistants as possible, please give this video a thumbs up. It will only take you a second and you'll be helping your fellow TAs as well as helping this little channel to survive. Thank you. OK, so here are three ways you can support children through the mayhem of December at school. One, prepare them for change. So to do this, you can use visual schedules or calendars to show upcoming events. Hang on a second, I've just lost my little thing that allows me to scroll down. Um, yes, so use visual schedules or calendars to show upcoming events and changes. This helps children understand what to expect and reduces anxiety about the unknown. I mean, I don't know if you remember being a child, but sometimes it could be quite, um, I don't know, uh, quite daunting, couldn't it? When you when you were taken somewhere like the dentist and you didn't know what was happening. And sometimes in school things change and you didn't know what was happening. It just adds to your anxiety. So use visual timetables to show the daily or weekly schedule. And I've got a PEX one on the slide there, but you know, I just used to make my own. I used to just print out pictures of the daily routine and make my own, laminate it so that it could be used over and over again. You can also discuss upcoming changes in a reassuring tone. So if you're OK about it, hopefully the children that you work with will be OK with about it. And you can read stories that positively portray changes and new experiences. Two, maintain key routines. So try to keep certain parts of the day consistent, like mealtimes or reading sessions, for instance. So familiar routines can be a comforting anchor amidst the changes. So if you keep, for instance, the start and end routines of the day consistent, that will, that will really help. You know, if they come into school and everything is initially the same, you know, it's not bam, you know, we're straight into the changes. That really helps an anxious child or a, ch a child that for whatever reason, um, might be on the autistic spectrum, for instance, um, struggles with change. And if you ensure that they still get regular breaks and lunch times stay the same, that will help. Uh, it's like having, um, you know, it's it's like having pockets of time that they know they can, you know, they're going to have a pocket of time that's familiar. Then they're going to do something a bit unfamiliar and then they're going to step to the next familiar pocket of time. So if you include familiar activities or routines within the change schedule, these pockets of familiarity really help children who struggle with change to feel safe in that in that in that changed environment, that change routine. Three, use social stories. So create or use social stories that explain the events of December in school in a simple and understandable way. These can help children prepare mentally and emotionally for what's coming up. So you can develop stories that directly address the specific changes happening in your school and use characters or scenarios that children can relate to and regularly read these stories to reinforce understanding and comfort. The brain understands a lot through story because that's how we used to pass on information um, before we were capable of writing things down. So story is really a really great way to um, to make the unfamiliar familiar uh, because children can use their imaginations. 
So by implementing these strategies, you, the teaching assistant, can help make December a more enjoyable and less stressful time for children, especially those who find changes in routine challenging. Because of course it won't always, it won't just be the, the, the children that find change um, challenging. You know, some children, they're more introverted, they don't like all the extrovert stuff that's going on, so they will struggle as well. So it's, it's, it's basically good for everybody. And if you decide to use the three suggestions in this video to support children who struggle with all the changes in routine in December, I believe you'll be surprised at the difference they make. It's small things, just small things can make some of the biggest differences. You'll have a greater a sense of, great, of being in greater control and consequently you and the children you work with will enjoy the festivities in school more. And to help you further, I have my latest TA guide, which will give you another seven ways to support children who struggle with changes to routines at this Christmas at school. So that's 10 ways to help the children cope and it will preserve your sanity too. So yes, inside you'll find 10 different strategies to help children cope with Christmas mayhem. And I give you three different ways to achieve each strategy and for each strategy, you have a page to write what you will do to help the children you work with. And this guide also comes with uh, an at a glance page for the month of December. So you can just jot down the, the different things that are going on and 31 pages for every day of December where you can write your to do's, priorities and notes for each day. There are 55 pages in all. And you'll find a link to access it in the description section below this video. And here's how to get to the description section if you're not sure. On your phone, tap on the little B under the video to expand the description section. And on your laptop, click on show more to expand the description section. And I've given you little red arrows to show you where to tap and click. As always, don't keep this video to yourself. Please share it with your TA colleagues. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you know when I've created a new video to help TAs work at your most confident best. And here are two more TA in control videos. Which one will you choose?